Well, unsuspecting pet owners might be in for a shock next time they're out for a walk, or rather their dogs, maybe. The wintry mix of electricity and ice zapping a Toronto woman's pooch when they were strolling in Scarborough last night. Our Nicole Martin spoke to Toronto Hydro and learned what dog lovers should do and what they shouldn't. What a good girl. She sniffed the, the metal conduit here on this pole and she basically yelped like really loud. It happens in winter particularly we see this problem when there's water pooling on the ground and it's mixing with ice that's been put out because it's been cold and slippery and that makes a perfect conductor. Monday evening Rachel and her son took a walk to the nearby Pizza Pizza at Markham and Kingston Roads with their dog Robot. Rachel says the dog stopped to sniff a pole and when she heard the sound that came out of her dog she knew something was wrong. At first I thought maybe she uh, like stepped on something in this puddle like where I'm standing now uh, was all a puddle. I thought like she maybe stepped on something like a sharp nail or something. It turns out Robot got an electric shock from the pole. Toronto Hydro says this is often due to faulty wiring. What can happen in an instant like this is some wiring inside, so a connection inside the pole or running underneath the ground, it might become frayed and then it's, it electrifies the, the surrounding equipment. So in this case it could have been the pole. That can also lead to some energizing around the ground. Now this is certainly not the first incident of a dog getting shocked by a hydro pole or by contact voltage. Back in 2009, two dogs were killed by electrocution in the Keel and Annette area after stepping on electrified hand wells, the little iron plates in the sidewalk near hydro poles. In 2011, there were two dogs that saw the same fate in the Queen and Parliament area. Toronto Hydro says a program was rolled out a few years ago to scan the city for stray voltage. We've replaced all of the hand wells in, uh, that belong to Toronto Hydro. We did the last one in June, I believe it was. So that is taken care of. So this situation is, it, we still have some worries when it comes to maybe an aluminum pole, one of our metal poles, where uh, the wires inside might become frayed for a number of reasons, environmental reasons, vibrations from the street, that sort of thing. Nicole Martin for City News.